Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be giving you some ideas as to what I've been using. Oh my god, I'm got hit by everything. What ideas, uh, what places I've been farming for fame over the last couple of days. Uh, I've basically gone in a week and six days, week and five days. Gone from having literally just started the game, never heard of the game before, to being in the top 2000 with 2.3 fame, uh, 2.3 million fame, 1.8 and a half of that being from farming mobs. Uh, so I've really put the time in and found quite a few efficient places. So I'm going to go through and give like hopefully a couple of suggestions for each one uh, in terms of like each reavers because there's no point farming up and farming too far down then is too inefficient. So the first thing I want to highlight is expeditions. Everyone underrates expeditions, but actually you can achieve a very good amount of fame per hour with a good team. So I'm just doing this with Pugs at the moment, and I'm the healer, and I've basically started it. I've, we've got, actually got two healers through luck, but I've healed it, and basically I go into everyone now saying, just pull as much as you want, I will keep you alive. Uh, I'm confident in my abilities, and I know that I can carry the group. As long as they can do the damage, I will keep them alive, and that's kind of been my attitude. And it seems to be going quite well. Uh, once you do a couple of brave pulls and people get to trust you, they do start pulling fast and strong and it goes quick and it's good. Um, but yeah, I was getting up to like 45k f fame per hour through tier 4 expeditions, although they weren't particularly good. Uh, that was with a 5-man pre-made group. With Pugs, you would never even get close to that. Uh, pugs at that level tend to struggle. Tier 5 anything up to 55k however again that was with a five-man group i've done it with pugs and we were getting roughly 40 an hour um and then you get to tier six which is what i'm farming here and actually i have to say the pugs in tier six seem to be brilliant i've never had a pugging system that has been this clean and we're getting anything up to 70k an hour with a good group in terms of fame and you can queue for these completely solo and they're safe in that you're never going to lose gear in here even if you were to have a really bad group wipe loads get to one percent durability nothing trashes in here so you have not, you don't have anything to worry about um, it is completely safe the silver's okay i suppose it's not great and there isn't any loot which is a little bit of a downside however there's so many neg uh, there's so many positives to it in terms of being able to get just safe fame basically um, we're going to move on to a couple of the others then so at tier four so i'm going to do this based mainly around limhurst the reason for this is because limhurst is where i'm based out of however you can like a lot of the zones are laid out very similarly so you can look at it and go okay so if you're based out of martlock this will be the closest one so basing out of Limhurst, sorry, I always fast that pull. Okay, uh, basing out of Limhurst, when I got to tier four river, I was farming here, and I was farming uh, at that one. So I was farming in Red Lake, farming them three, the the big camp there. Uh, both very easy to do, and yeah, it was really efficient. Uh, in, and I did all of this solo so I'm pretty much from now after expeditions I'm pretty much going to go into only solo methods I might mention a couple of the more group based ones um, but the idea is I want people to have things they can do when they haven't got a full group of people because I know I'll, I play a lot of the time without a full group and it's difficult when you're relying on a group for things so I got to tier 5 at tier 5 I kind of started going into so I was doing Carefield in a bit in terms of the green dungeons but they are very very bad uh, they're not great at all I actually started experimenting more down here farming these three was what I did a fair bit uh, and the other one I did was black zones uh, going into black zones if you look here you've got dungeon dungeon um, another one all tier 5 all gonna give good XP like and that's just from one port you could go up here to uh clock uh, clock clack key you've got two green dungeons right there two green dungeons right there like there's so many different dungeons for uh tier five that you should never really struggle uh in terms of tier six then 
tier six i don't really remember i farmed it in completely one place basically tier six to tier seven i farmed where was it uh oh it's there there you go them two i did that whole route so many times it was ridiculous effectively all of my tier, uh, tier six reaver so that one which was 270 odd k came from a couple of days of farming on and off in that black zone there where is it gone grizz jail there you go that one them two and you've got that one there as well so these two are the least popular populated ones because you've got the territory there so that one tends to always be full that tends to get a couple of people in as well so it's something to be aware of if you're doing this during peak times i've done nothing on this boss so fight so far it's brilliant uh yes yeah, so you've got these two here for tier six in terms of tier seven then again looking at this from a purely solo standpoint the best place i can re recommend these three right here so inferno ravine it is two jumps from Bridgewatch, so it doesn't look like it, doesn't look like there's a connection there, but actually if you go into Lazy Grass, there's that one there. That takes you in here, through that entrance, and then you've got these three here, all tucked away in the corner, so you're not on a direct path. So if people are coming to gank, they have to run to them, they don't just sort of nip in. Um, and yeah, it's so good fame, honestly. I'm getting, when I farm that properly, I'm farming anything between 85 to 90k an hour fame it's just ridiculous that's farming with frost stuff uh, and i'm pulling two or three mobs and pulling it all into one and airing it all down uh, just to give you an example of how much fame we're capable of farming in just a couple of days i started this two days ago i've done no real farming today on it uh, and we're up to 23 nearly 24 i think i've bought two levels with lp other than that the rest of it's been done properly uh, i've worked it out to roughly about a million fame we've put into it so obviously my curse staff is around the same my curse staff i bought pretty much every level with uh, lp my daggers are there as well but again i put a little bit of lp into this in this we have bought two levels at the start just to get to frost nova because i wanted to try it other than that we've spent none and we've got to 23 in like two days it's about six or seven hours of farming potentially uh if you are interested in group dungeon farming the ones i've found that are very popular are so for lower tiers you've got ferndale uh it's amazing it gets very very populated though uh, and again if you're looking so just as an example if you're looking for martlock you've got exactly the same here three dungeons and a blue and that one will be very populated as well the same as ferndale um but yeah so in terms of low level you can do that tier four tier five probably tier six as well it's quite efficient to do uh, but as soon as you get to tier seven if you can get a five or six man group going this is the place you want to be it's so so good uh, i know a lot of people farm uh, that one as well so you've got the tier six equivalent of the same place and that is i believe two jumps from a town if i'm not completely mistaken okay so it's three so it's Thetford and it's one two three and you're here um and it's it's a good area to come into but again it gets quite populated because it's in between two yellow zones so you kind of get a little bit trapped uh, another good one runnel sink basically once you start getting to the higher levels you want to find a concentration of dungeons so that you can run through one run into the next one and start clearing the next one in a red or black zone because they are just they offer a multiplier for fame uh, and obviously if you can get a group blue dungeons are blue dungeons are probably the most efficient way for fame at all times i don't think it's ever beaten uh but you do need the full group and you also do need to be wary that you're going to start competing with other groups and it turns into zerg pvp anyway guys i hope this video has helped if there's anything else you want to add anything i've missed anything you're interested in asking please leave a comment below like subscribe you know all the usual stuff go check out my twitch other than that have a good day catch you later guys